So welcome to the fourth uh, HTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you, be showing you how to link to other websites or other web pages within your site. So right now I've just got this blank HTML file with the basic stuff like I showed you in the first tutorial and what I want to do is I'm going to create some text. So click here to go to Google for example. Now obviously if we run this we're not going to be able to go to Google because we, we haven't told our site to do anything when we click on it. See right now it does nothing, it's just plain text. So to make this into a link it's very simple. We just use the A tag and then we close it off. And now you're probably thinking well we haven't told it what the link to the site is and you're right. So what we can do here is we can add extra information inside this tag. So inside the tag we do A then a space and then the extra information uh, identifier I think I don't know what it's called but I'm going to call it an identifier so for here what we're going to put is href and that is the location that we want this to link to now you just do it like that so href uh, equals and then you put speech marks you don't need these spaces but I like to do this to keep it tidy then here what we're going to do is put the link to the site so I'm going to put google.com or .co.uk sorry save that run chrome click on the link and there we are we are on the google homepage so that is pretty much how to use links okay so what you're looking at right now is a bunch of lorem ipsum de law that I've just got from lipsum.com uh, like in the previous tutorial so let's say I want the word consectator again Let's say we want this to be a link. We can just do a href equals and then http colon slash slash uh, google.com or UK, sorry. Then we just close that off and close it off here. Simple enough. So now if we run this in Chrome, you see we've got all this text. All this text is normal, you can't click on it. But just this one word, consectator you can click on and it takes you to Google. So that is how to use links. In the next tutorial I'll be showing you how to link to another location within the same web page, if that makes sense. So thank you for watching this tutorial, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial.